Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Monday, October 15th. And uh, I got a couple items here, so we'll jump right into it. We'll start off with the retail sales for the month of September. So back in August, we had a 1.2% increase of sales. A lot of it has to do, obviously, the back-to-school stuff going on. We figured it dropped down a little bit to 09 and it, it dropped slightly, but it's still a pretty good number, 1.1. So we had a nice number for the month of September for retail sales. Now, if we exclude the autos, which are the big ticket items and kind of skewed the numbers, uh, we'll take a look at those numbers. We had 1% uh, for August, and we figured, again, it would dip down to about 0.8, and it still came in at 1.1. So a great month overall for the month of September uh, for retail sales. So... You know, hopefully we can see that continue here and a lot of that co correlates along with the consumer sentiment so when you see people feeling good they're out spending money and as you can see uh, we're seeing that right now another item note is the Empire State Index and this is the manufacturing in the uh, New York region we had a negative uh, 10 percent or negative 10 for the month of uh, or September rather and for this month we figured it'll pull back to about negative four and it did pull back, but uh, not quite as much as we had forecasted, negative 6.2. So right now we're showing some contraction in the New York region for manufacturing, which is obviously not a good sign right there. And then uh, the last item here uh, for economic news releases is the inventories. So we have a 1.1% increase for the month of July. Uh, and for August, it came in at 0.6. So people are stocking inventories. A lot of it's uh, automobiles and uh, parts and stuff that you see that makes up a lot of that, uh, that those inventories right now. So we'll jump over to the headline news here today. And right now the stock market's a little mixed. Uh, the Dow is up slightly where the other two, NASDAQ and uh, S&P, were down a little bit. Um, then uh, the New York uh, Fed... Uh, Reserve uh, Dudley uh, said that he doesn't believe there's going to be a, he was speaking to a group in New York and basically he doesn't feel there's going to be a, a bubble, a uh, bond bubble uh, with all this new quantitative easing uh, that, the gov uh, that the Fed has been uh, performing of late. Now we're up to quantitative easing 3 or QE3. A lot of people have been hearing about it. And then uh, over the weekend we had the IMF meeting in New York where all the, the large uh, central bankers had met in Tokyo and basically kind of laid out that everybody's got problems uh, from uh, China trying to, uh, you know, their economy slowing down dramatically to Europe. Uh, you know, right now it looks like Greece needs to be bailed out again. They're running out of money and people are kind of wondering if it might be just better to, you got Sweden basically telling, saying that maybe it's just better to let them go rather than keep dealing with this mess with them. And then uh, you got Spain uh, that they're pretty much kind of urging, strongly urging to go ahead and uh, request the bailout from the uh, the European Central Bank, probably because if they don't, they're concerned that the investors might lash back and uh, create more havoc in the markets. And then, of course, the U.S. has got a lot of uh, their own issues over here as well. All right, so we'll jump over to the bond market, see what we got for interest rates going on today. We started up a little bit higher this morning, and then we kind of pulled back. And right now, we're down to down about three basis points for the day, and about 105.16, where we left off at 105.25 on Friday, about nine basis points. So pricing hasn't changed too much. There really isn't a huge uh, price swing in the interest rates right now. Uh, so I would say it's pretty close to about the same. If it drops further, it could uh, you'll see a little bit of worsening. Usually, it takes about 12 basis points or more for it really to make a big difference in the market. So, all right, folks, uh, thanks for stopping by, but I uh, figure the rates are about the same where we left off on Friday. And you guys, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. You guys have a wonderful day. I will see you guys tomorrow. And if you like to see these on a daily basis, just stop by mikesdailymarketreport.com. You can subscribe right there and have these emailed to you on a daily basis. Have a great day.